Hey folks, have you ever made your own hamburger patty? So store-bought burgers can range between just salted meat and packed with fillers and additives. And while I'm sure you could find something to get you through a normal grill, sometimes you want a little bit more punch to establish your dominance as grill master amongst your friend group. So it's super important to consider the meat that you're going to use. Typically it's gonna be beef, but you could use chicken, you could use ground turkey, sometimes you could find bison, moose, um, armadillo, who knows? But the fat content is going to play a huge factor. Now, whatever animal you decide on, you need to find regular ground. If you can't find regular ground in the store and you can only find lean or extra lean, you're going to need to figure out a fat source, something like pork lard. Add your meat to the bowl along with your supplemental fat, salt, pepper, and a squirt of mustard to balance out the moisture that the spices need. If you go crazy on the spices, you'll need to go crazy on the mustard. Give it a thorough mix so that everything's combined. Roll out small bowls and then flatten them out on some parchment paper. Don't be afraid to get wild with a spice mix, depending on the theme of your barbecue. You could mix in honey or maple syrup if you want something sweeter, or you could swap out the fat with some sesame oil and sprinkle in some ginger for a Thai theme. You'll need to let it sit in the fridge for at least 30 minutes before grilling. Experiment around with the flavors that you like, and when you find the perfect combo, you can tell people that you have your own special recipe. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.